Hi there, welcome to my channel where I take you on tours of unique and sometimes wacky homes like the one we're featuring today. We're taking a tour of not just one, but two incredibly themed homes that will bring out your competitive side because once you step inside, it's game on. You can sleep on a giant twister board, kick back at Park Place, or get lost in a giant laser maze. The owner is gonna invite us inside, take us on a tour, and explain why he decided to bring board games to life with this unique vacation rental. And if you like videos like this one, make sure you check out our video of Andrew's dessert-themed home, which we featured on this channel just a few weeks ago. My name is Andrew Greenstein, and I own two of the coolest game-themed houses in the world. I'm a big kid. Originally, this was not even a business. I first did this to my own house. I wanted to have cool rooms in my house for me and my wife and my kids. And we were always talking about the dream of creating a house that was all about board games and other games. I wanted my kids eventually to see that when you have a dream, you don't just throw it aside. You turn those dreams into reality. So eventually, after a year or so of talking about it, I said, Let's make this thing happen. Let's make a house from scratch and build a home that's all about board games. And from that, The Great Escape Lakeside was born. And man, did that thing go viral. My ultimate goal, like all of us, I think, is just peace and enjoying life in my family. And I believe there's still so much in the world that I wanna see, do, and play. I don't make these homes to make money, but I make them because I enjoy the art and I love making these cool, immersive homes. It's as little as 35 to 40 bucks per person per night. It works out cheaper than most Airbnbs, most hotels, and you get so much more. People try to slow me down and stop me because it's like I have to get whatever it takes to make every room look perfect. I like being a part of it. Welcome to the Great Escape Late Side. Come with me. All right, so right here we have the walkable piano. So you can play better than me, hopefully. Here you have the giant chest. These are made of teak wood and they are super sturdy. So these are all custom made. And then over here, this is the Vegas room. You do have the royal flush bathroom. Over here you have the Jumanji Theater. Great Escape Parkside is the bigger of the two technically. It has 15 bedrooms, 12 and a half bathrooms, two escape rooms, arcade games, karaoke, you name it. In the Monopoly bedroom, you've got these giant dice. It's like you're being immersed into a Monopoly board because you've got two beds. One is a wheelbarrow, one is a car. The closet is jail. And then the bathroom is waterworks. Across the hall in the Scrabble room, the carpet actually spells out Great Escape Parkside if you look for it. Along the walls there are giant Scrabble tiles in both the bedroom and the bathroom that have a scrambled message and if you can decode either one or both you get $50 off your next stay for each one. So here we have the two clue rooms. Now the clue rooms are all about this guy named John Boddy and on his 30th birthday party he brought all of these people to a dinner because he wanted to blackmail them. These people were named Professor Plum, Mrs. White and so on. Now in the middle of the dinner party something happened 
and John Body died that night. In the clue rooms, your mission is to detect what happened, who killed him, in which room, and using which weapon. So to do that, you look around the clue room for clue game cards. And as you find them, you mark them off on this custom made app on this tablet. By process of elimination, those will tell you who the killer was, which weapon they used, and which bedroom of the mansion they did it in. Right here you have the dungeon, and shh, be quiet, don't wake up the dragon. So right here you have the world's largest word search. And you also have board games in case you get bored. Pun intended. This is the dining room. Belinda, Andrew's wife, she actually made this table herself and it has four sections for four different games. And the games are from all around the world. Vertical chess. And this is the Trivia Pursuit Hallway. So in the Trivia Pursuit Hallway, you have questions on the front of these boards, answers on the back, don't look, you can't cheat. And then you have the Trivia Pursuit Games. This is the Scrabble Room. And if you like Taylor Swift, check out the closet. Can I write your name? This is the Risk and Stratego War Games Escape Room. One team represents the red team, the blue team, Risk or Stratego, and you're battling it out to see who can solve the drill first. A lot of the puzzles are in the middle, in the battleship latrine bathroom, which is shared by both parties. But to avoid espionage, you need to figure out the slickest ways to sneak into that bathroom, get what you need, and get out. And next door to this escape room wing, come on down, the price is right, we have the TV game show room with a light up floor. We have a deal or no deal arcade machine. We have all of these screens around the room bringing you into the magic like you're on a TV soundstage. And then heading back towards the middle of the house, we also have a small bedroom under the stairs. Looks like it's for kids, but as an adult, maybe because I'm a big kid, I have slept there. It's Minecraft and Dungeons and Dragons. Here we have the beachside carnival room. In the beachside carnival room, you do have a king size bed, a walk-in closet, Zoltar from the movie Big, and then you also have a full size bathroom with a walk-in shower, a jacuzzi tub, and your own private toilet. Welcome to the game show booth. You have Bingo, Wheel of Fortune, Family Feud, and so many more games. Welcome to the Mind Games room. So I have a question. If you were running a race and you passed the person in second place, what place would you be in? Can I solve in a Rubik's Cube? No, but I can act like I am. Ta-da! So as you come up the stairs, you're entering Maribel's Carnival Midway. The Carnival Midway is surrounded by six bedrooms, each with its own immersive experience and each with its own ensuite bathroom too. Now the Carnival Midway game, it's got whack-a-mole, it's got the hammer strike, it has literal carnival booth games. And then the rooms, oh my God, we have the Ms. Pac-Man room. And then next we have the Games Gone Wild Room. It's filled with hundreds of giant Legos that we can put all over the floor. Don't worry, they're soft, they're foam. We're constantly hearing, oh my God, I would never want to step in that room. It doesn't hurt at all to step on them. And the backstory is right before we opened, all of the game characters, Operation Sam, Colonel Mustard, Miss Pac-Man, they all had a party and they got kind of tipsy on sugar. 
and they like destroyed this room. They made a mess. We were about to open and we didn't know what to do, so we decided to leave it messy because every kid likes a mess and you got the Games Gone Wild room. But what's probably more wild is Twister. This is a 360 degree immersive experience. When that ceiling fan is off, it acts as if it's your spinner. So we provide this broom and you spin the ceiling fan and when it stops, it tells you where to go and then you line it up. To make room to play Twister, this room has a Murphy bed. When you pull it down, the sheets are Twister, the blankets are Twister, the bathroom is Twister, it just keeps going. The drawing game, this is Pictionary. Again, more games on the wall. And I have some drawings for you. Can you guess what they are? In the Pictionary room, you do have six beds. And we do have the drawing bathroom. And if you get bored while you're on the toilet, you can do the Etch-a-Sketch. Welcome to the operation room. So over here, we do have six bunk beds. And behind you, we actually have a giant operation board. You can test your surgery skills. I'm not a surgeon. This is the world's first residential laser room and it is so cool. Not only can you pretend you're Catwoman and crawl through the lasers for a bank heist, but you can also play laser tag all around the house. You can play one player or two player mode. It has music, it has sound effects, but the objective is to make your way across the room to the target in as little time as possible. And every time that you touch a laser, it's gonna add a 24 point penalty to your score. And we're really proud of how it came out. And to this day, it is still so much fun. We have volleyball a full-size basketball court, giant connect four, giant chess, giant checkers, human soccer billiards, and human foosball. So outside, the Great Escape Park side is 10 more acres of fun. Did you see you missed? What did I miss? Yep, I sure did. I was so focused <laughs> on that. Crap. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to what we believe to be the world's only billiard table pool. The hot tub is the cube of chalk resting on the ledge, and I'm going to break the balls that are on the pool floor by going down the water slide. You know, if people could take one thing away from all of these homes, I'd want it to be a quote that I heard when I was on a cruise in my 20s from a very elderly couple. It is, don't stop playing because you get old. You'll get old because you stop playing. Thanks for watching this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like to see a tour of Andrew's dessert-themed mansion, make sure that you check out the link we have in the description.